Yes, now then. Uh, uh, what what was I supposed to talk today? Like why why I can't remember that. Uh, I've been noticing this for the last couple of months that this seems to be happening on a regular basis. Uh, where did I keep the car keys? Then the other day I could not find the mobile, and then uh, when I try remembering my relatives' names and friends' names, I have difficulty. Uh, uh, this started causing a concern for me because I remember my father's younger brother, uh, whom I call Major Kaka, and Major Kaka once, uh, quite some time back, had gone out to buy sweets, and he was not returning for hours. And then the local Para people brought him back, and they said that he was lost and he could not tell the. address of his place and neither could he remember how to come back home <laughs> yes you guessed it correct we are talking about alzheimer's disease no not to worry uh, i was just wanting you to just feel how it is uh, i can remember clearly everything i can remember y equal to mx plus c equation of a straight line or 1/3 pi r square into height is volume of a cone no problem at all but it was causing a concern because i read up a lot of things and i saw that if somebody in the family more than one or two person had alzheimer's disease then you are more likely to develop this but one good relief was that if paternal side of the family had alzheimer's you are at less risk and the maternal side has got alzheimer's that you are at higher risk Uh, yeah i've done a lot of studies on research on this and luckily my mother is 85 and has sharp memories and no sign of any alzheimer but my father unfortunately died very young by 50 so he did not get time to develop alzheimer because alzheimer starts sometime around 60 65 years old i'm dr purnendu roy i'm a surgeon in genesis hospital Today we will try and understand what exactly is this Alzheimer's disease. Just imagine the load of the problem. It is estimated in our country in India 4 million people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease and worldwide 44 million people is suffering from some form of dementia now this huge number is becoming a big global problem now it's also estimated by 2030 7.5 million people will be in our country in india with alzheimer's disease and surprisingly even though there is a reference about alzheimer's disease in bible also so thousands years back also it was known but the majority of the understanding has taken place only in last 100 to 120 years talking about the load of different geographical location one good news is that india has got a much lower incidence of alzheimer's disease compared to some of the european scandinavian or united states of america incidence of dementia It's also been noticed in northern India a particular area called Ballabghar they have found that it has got the lowest incidence of alzheimer's disease and they tried to study that what could be the reason now early morning sometimes in that area the elderly people before the sunrise or the with the sunrise they all go and gather in one place and they discuss different issues this habit of socializing talking about certain problems communications trying to engage into cerebral activity has shown that it keeps the incidence of alzheimer's disease low compared to people who tend to be isolated non-communicative and very lonely 
in their middle age or post middle age and in the elderly age group. It's not only just getting together. These are people who throughout their life have been very active in the field. So it's not that they have spent a sedentary lifestyle, but even when they're old, they look forward to something, getting together with all the people, and it's famous for hookah. You see, they have this hookah and the joy and the enjoyment and discussing different things. This keeps their mind active. So let's try and understand the symptomatology. We are going to talk about 10 common symptoms that are associated. Difficulty in remembering things that just happened, which is short-term memory loss. Now, you know, like in phone and computers, we talk about a RAM, uh, the higher the RAM. You know, we take in, it gets encoded, and then we retrieve from the memory the past incidences. Now, short-term memory loss is something which is recognized in Alzheimer's. Exactly after finishing lunch, they might suddenly ask that you didn't give me lunch. Number two, forgetting dates and events. Sometimes certain dates and events which has been very important in their life, they'll start forgetting birthdays, anniversary, important occasions. Now, this is another important thing that happens. Number three is inability to solve certain problems, which used to be very easy before. Trying to sort out electricity bill payments or calculating uh, in mind, you know, like if you ask somebody that you give so many rupees and the cost of this is only so much, so how much will you get back? And they will not be able to calculate these simple problems. Number four is misplacing things, you know, like the man who has always been keeping things in the right places is not able to recollect and then saying, where did I leave my keys? Uh, where are my mobile and books? So they can't recollect short time events and keep thinking that I've lost half the things. The fifth one is mood and personality disorder. Sometimes the person can be irritable, sometimes the person is depressed, they can be suspicion, nature. And another thing that happens is they feel very disturbed when especially they are away from home, from the normal surroundings. Number six is poor decision making. It could be with money. Sometimes they can become generous and then just waste money. Sometimes they have lack of concern about their own looks, grooming. They will keep themselves very untidy. Number seven, struggling with conversations. The difficulty that these people face is sometimes they cannot recollect or with their vocabulary, the correct words they are looking for. Sometimes they find it difficult in to express things and this causes a kind of a frustrations in their mind. Number eight, when a person is having trouble in completing a very familiar task. Now it is one, it could be not able to find out your own home, whether driving or walking, you forget the address. Sometimes you are cooking a meal which you have cooked for a very long time. You forget the steps and ingredients. And sometimes a game which you have always taken part and one forgets the rules and regulation of that game. Number nine, sometimes it can be as serious as having vision problem. The vision problem can be with color vision. Sometimes it can be difficulty in judging the distance and this can cause difficulty in also driving. Number 10 and finally is withdrawal from social or work activities. One will not be able to complete the assignments given to the person. They might withdraw from normal social events, might not want to go to a wedding or a birthday parties or meet other people. And sometimes the work, they want to get away from it. Now, these are the things which probably affect person who is developing signs of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. 
So once we see people with this kind of symptoms, we need to perform certain tests. Now, the tests that are done is reflexes checking, muscle strength has to be checked whether the person is able to get up from the chair, walk across the room. The test for vision and hearing and balance and coordination has to be judged for these people. And also along with this, the person's mental status and neuropsychological status has to be assessed. Whenever many of us start getting this feel that I can't remember that person's name whom I met uh, two days back in the party, can't even get the contact in the mobile because can't remember the name. So I went and asked my friend that, look here, I'm finding these things and I want to take a test. Is there any test that I can take to find out whether I have started developing Alzheimer's. So he started laughing and he said, I'm having the same problem. But I did do a bit of a research and found SAGE, self-administered gerocognitive examination. This SAGE, this test can be done online. It gives certain simple tests and the person can do the test online and take the results to the physician to assess whether early signs of Alzheimer's is developing. Now, once we have done all this, what are the imaging that we can do? We can do CT scan, we can do MRI scan, imaging of the brain. There is one more type of imaging, it's called PET scan. It's positron emission tomogram. Now, there are special way of doing certain types of PET scan. It's called FDG PET. Now, FDG stands for fluorodeoxyglucose. Now, this is a substance which is utilized by brain. Now, in cases of dementia and Alzheimer's, these areas, certain areas of the brain, they will metabolize it slow. So, we can see a different pattern of imaging by doing an FDG PET scan. So, FDG PET scan will show certain areas where nutrients are poorly metabolized. So it will show certain patterns of degenerative changes in those areas of the brain in the scan. There's one more thing also, it's called amyloid PET imaging. Now this measures the burden of amyloid into the areas of brain. Amyloid is a substance which is blamed for these Alzheimer's disease. So this particular type of imaging can actually demonstrate that. And this is morally in research state now. And this is done for people who develops dementia or Alzheimer's symptoms at a much earlier age. We need to identify that how much is the amyloid load. Now it's getting even more complicated because there is one more type of imaging. It's called tau pet imaging. This shows the neurofibrillary entangles into these brain areas. So what do you do? Now, here is a situation when the person is not able to remember anything. Uh, we think that there are problems in certain degenerative changes in the brain. So there are certain natural things, a lot of claims have been done. There are researchers, it has shown that coconut oil can prevent or sometimes even delay the progress of Alzheimer's disease. Cucumin, an extract from turmeric, has also proved in research that it can delay degenerative changes in the brain. And also omega-3 fatty acids, you know, like if you, uh, we know that fish oil contains omega-3 fatty acids and cod liver oil. Now these are the natural things they can actually delay or prevent Alzheimer's disease. Talking about drugs, cholinesterase inhibitor. Now, because we know that this is the transmission, choline, acetylcholine, which gets uh, metabolized by cholinesterase. Now, if we use cholinesterase inhibitor, it improves the transmissions from one cell to the other. Because one, it is thought that it is the inability to recollect certain neuronal from the memory center that we are not able to. So if there is improvement in neurotransmission, 
by using drugs like cholinesterase inhibitor or mamantine, they can improve certain symptomatologies. Certain supporting and atmosphere or caregiving situation has to be created. People at this age group, they have to be involved in certain activities like gardening, listening to music or to increase cognitive skills, whether they can drive, whether they can play certain games, whether they can solve certain problems. And many times it has been shown that their association with children and playing with them also improves or delays the onset of certain Alzheimer's symptoms. Talking about food and nutrition, they should be allowed to eat good food, which means sometimes if they have difficulty in taking more protein or calories, other things. So they have to be made into smoothies or protein rich supplements. They need to take a lot of fluid, a lot of say juice or water. The drink or the fluid that has to be avoided is caffeine because caffeine is a stimulant and it causes irritability and restlessness and uh, it decreases sleep and these are the age group where people find it difficult to sleep. So good food, good amount of hydration and good sleep with activity where they can take part, this will keep them away from Alzheimer's disease. So in case if you are reaching this age, in case if you have started getting this feeling that you are having these problems. So take part in cognitive activities. Don't lead a lethargic lifestyle sitting in front of the television and just watching whole day using only one exercise, which is of the thumb. So get out of the house, meet people, meet your friends and try to learn more about not only Alzheimer's or dementia, and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get to know more such important information about health and disease.